What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Like Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. We are joining you guys in the midst of one Friday fights 31. Been kind of a slower card to start here, but this kickboxing fight, the only kickboxing fight on the card, if I'm not mistaken, has been an absolute banger thus far. First round, I mean, the Italian got knocked down. What was it? A couple times there, at least that one good shot. And now they're just swinging in the pocket here. Man, I, I was going to start the stream right after this fight, but it was so damn good. We had to we had to just fire it up. So if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Sorry, I'm a little late to this card this morning. I am still technically on the clock at work. So I uh, had to do a quick little job for a client there. And now we are back. Check out our community tab for our full stream schedule this weekend. We are doing another one today. We are going to be doing Cage Fury FC later today as well. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock in this second round. What an absolute banger it's been. What's up, Jelani? Good morning, brother. What's up, hockey from home? Couple straight right jabs there by Sashetti. Oh, and counter left by Huo. Oops, sorry, wrong fight here on screen. Woman in 20 seconds on the clock. Outside Loki attempt by Chiketti. Doesn't land. Again, appreciate you guys joining. Uh, sorry I'm a little late, like I said. We're going to be on for the entire Cage Fury FC event uh, as well tonight. Very excited for that. I'll see if it works after this fight, buddy. 52 seconds on the clock. High kick attempt by Shishinetti. Why did I say Shishinetti? Shishetti. <laughs> All good hockey from home. And a 1-2 by Shishadetti, but does it land? Man, what an exciting kickboxing match here. Again, the Muay Thai and, and MMA, they've been a little come see, come saw. They've been okay to start off uh, this card. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. This card so far is nothing like last week. Is this is about the fourth bout on the card. 15 seconds left in the second round. I still got Xiao Long. Up in this fight, he had the better first round. I think this round it was a lot more even. Not sure. No, that's not going to count as a knockdown. It's going to count as a trip off the leg kick. Uh, Luca Shishetti did look a lot better in this second round. But I still have uh, Xiao Long from China up two rounds to none. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Uh, I have no idea how I can send Diego that hockey from hockey from. Why can't you send Diego the uh, the link? Uh, da, da, da. Got coffee and orange juice. My stomach's full of energy. Hockey from has got the Chinese guy. Uh, hockey from you have like I I I don't have an easier. Uh, I don't have a direct channel to <laughs> to Diego. You have you have the exact same uh, means to that. I don't even think he's here in the chat today. All right, third and final round coming up next year. So uh, I, I don't have him on social media or anything like that. Hawk from home. So yeah, he's not in the Discord. Two minutes and fifty four seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Sashetti. Sashetti with the counter left and Xiao Long. Man, he's just one step ahead. It seems like. Two minutes and 37 seconds. These leg kicks, man. Outside leg kick over and over again by Chow Long. Straight right by Sashetti. And Sashetti's employing those outside low kicks, you know, tremendously as well. That lead right leg of Xiao Long is beaten up. His shorts are so long, you can't, you can't notice it. But if you look outside, just above his knee, you know, on the left there, 
by Xiao Long, not counting as a knockdown as Sashetti did slip there. That straight right Sashetti still lands outside Loki again of Sashetti. One minute and 54 seconds on the clock here. Sure, hockey from home. One minute and 39 seconds. Two body shots there by Sashetti. Ref separates them after they clinch. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. Checked that kick. Was Xiao Long. One minute and 25 seconds. Left hand by Sashetti. Sashetti the second round. He's looking good in this third round. It's just like he's gotten better and better. Obviously, first round, not the best for him. I still have Xiao Long up two rounds, and this one's close. I do think Sashetti's landing the better shots here in this round. That straight right and oh, those leg kicks. Now again, Xiao Long is checking way more of those leg kicks than he's done throughout this entire fight. Final 55 seconds on the clock. Straight right there by Sashetti. Sashetti I think Sashetti wins this round. I mean, it ends right now, but there's 45 seconds left. Yeah, I, I love kickboxing. Like, don't get me wrong. Muay Thai is, is unbelievable as well, but maybe it's because we've just been watching so much Muay Thai uh, lately on this channel and obviously covering these Friday fights. 30 seconds on the clock here. Ooh, a nice left by Xiao Long. But hey, DAZN's got K1. They got Crush as well as, what is it, R uh, RWS? So I'm excited to start streaming those uh, all the time. Final 10 seconds. Ooh, high kick attempt followed by a spinning back fist by Xiao Long doesn't land. They're throwing some hooks here in the final seconds. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the fight. Let me know who you think won this one. I got Xiao Long winning this one. First two rounds. Let me know your thoughts, folks. Uh, hockey from home. Oh, nice. I don't. You're right. I don't. Uh, shout out to everyone joining. I know there's it's only a few of you here today. My apologies for uh for being a little bit late. Let's get a poll question fired up in the chat here. Um, yeah, most Fridays I still work. Like I work from home. Uh, but I had to get some things done and prep this morning. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. So I had to miss the first few fights here, but we are here and we are going to be streaming Cage Fury FC also later today. Check out my UFC prediction video if you haven't already, and let's listen in for the decision. Hey! Lucas Sashetti wins the unanimous decision. Look, I was setting up the stream in my first round. I, uh... I could have I could have missed some signal. I mean, they could have been a double knockdown that first round. I could sound like a fool here for everyone just uh, just dropping in and be like first round one, but uh, definitely uh, kept my eye on the second round and third. What's up, Jules? Anyways, well, one of the was it the co-main event? Uh, one of the featured fights of the night here coming up next or morning, I should say. Uh, how are you? It's good to see you. Uh, I'll check it. Uh, I will check it later. Hoggy from home. Zero one for predictions. Yeah, I thought he was going to win too. But again, I was keeping my eye mostly on the second and third round. You could say the second and third round was a split. And based on what I was looking at in the first round, when I was setting up the streaming and going live here. Um, I thought Xiao Long did enough. But uh, I guess second and third. So so assuming the fighter from China won that first round. So the second and third round went to the Italian. But anyways, good scrap. Good scrap. Again, I, I I only kickboxing fight on the card. Yeah, I, I like one's kickboxing, but uh, I haven't watched enough of K one. I have like recently. I used to watch old K one. Haven't watched enough of Crush recently. Um, and uh, what is it? R R W S whatever. They're, they're all on DAZN now, which is amazing. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna subscribe to DAZN, and we're gonna start doing so many K one and Crush streams. I mean, I'm gonna have to adjust my sleeping schedule. Anyways, uh, let me know your plans for the weekend 
in the live chat. Ladies and gentlemen, we're totally interactive here on the channel. Let me know what fights you have planned to watch this weekend as well. We got back-to-back -back Cage Fury FC events. Our boy Max Canones is fighting this weekend. Uh, there's also some LFA, uh, UFC Paris. Not bright and early like it was on the Singapore card, but uh, early tomorrow as well. Early, early for I guess it's good for us to like out east and or you know Eastern time and Central time. It's tough for I wouldn't even say it's tough, but for those on Pacific time, it's still I guess. And early nine nine a.m. That that's that's still too early for our boy Shane in the live chat here. Uh, my week is uh, my week was good. My week was good. It was busy working. Still working. Worked this morning, <laughs> and I will be working after this. But again, we will. Uh, there's there's no other streams today until Cage Fury FC tonight. But we will be streaming it the entire thing, starting with the prelims. I know a lot of you can't watch. Um, we will cover the prelims for you guys, and then we will cover the main card. A shorter, like a smaller main card versus uh, the one that's being held tomorrow night. That's our back-to-back -back cage for your FC cards. But it uh, should be a good one nonetheless. Bum, 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 bum. Give me one sec. I'm just sharing this link in Discord. Okay, I need a poll question. Avredi or Alessandro? Um, I'm I'm leaning towards the Russian, but uh, it's tough. It's tough. I've seen, and and you know what? It, it's it's more that I've just seen him fight. I've just seen him fight a few times. But uh, let's take a look at Alessandro, the Italian Ferrari. And he's young, 22 years old. Um, he only has one fight in one, and it was a knockout loss. And that was one Friday fights four. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see if we can find any other info. I mean, he's so young, so it's hard to... So on Tapology, it has him two and two in his last four fights. He was on a two-fight win streak, fighting in tie fight strong, where he won a decision. And in Jip Yong super fight, where he also got a decision victory as well. So <laughs> a young cat, a young cat. Where again, I've seen uh Ramazana fight a few times before on these Friday fight fight cards. I think he's fought like what two two or three times on uh, on these Friday fight cards, which I absolutely love. By the way, it's, it's such a great way to start <laughs> the official start to the weekend. Even though I'm like still kind of working on Fridays. Uh, okay, so he's lost two in a row. Um, oh, he's, yeah, he's fought. So his last uh, fight was in one Friday fights eight. And he fought Nongo in one Friday fights one. Right. He was the main event of one Friday fights one against Nongo. He lost in the third round uh, via TKO. Body shots. Lost via decision in one Friday fight eight. So it's been a while since he's been back in Lupini. Uh, before his loss to Nongo, he did have a two-fight win streak in one championship where he knocked out Pong Siri in the first round and then won a split decision against Capitan. So actually, like this is a good test for the young Italian going up against a well, a, a, a Russian who's who's game to fight, but who also you know trained trains in Thailand and has a respectable resume here as well. He's been with one championship for a little while here. As if I, as I'm just looking on Tapology right now, um, Tapology has record of him fighting in Muay Thai, anyways, in one championship since 2019. Um, where he's honestly he's lost one, one, two, lost one, one, two, and now he's lost two looking to get back in the win column. I'm gonna lean Ramazanov just because, again, I haven't seen much of the Italian. Uh, he's still really young, and Ramazanov's hungry to get back into the win column after that two fight losing streak. What fights on tonight? Uh, I'm there, there's quite a there's quite a bit on this weekend, more so tomorrow, Jules. But I am watching uh, Cage Fury FC tonight, and that's what we will be 
uh, streaming. Well, that's a, that's the fight companion that we'll be hosting. Yo, 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 foul one, one of our exclusive members. Yo, guys, thanks for showing Rush Hour some love, too. Thanks for showing Rush Hour some love, too. The guy's an absolute beauty. It's been tough for us to collaborate on live streams because our schedules are, like, completely opposite. He works, like, later at night. I work morning and days. Um, but we do have some videos planned, and we're going we're gonna to make some time to make some collaboration videos that will uh post on his channel and my channel respectively and then we'll also get some live streams so uh for those of you who are still jumping back and forth tell him i say what's up i know i jumped in there earlier when i was uh exporting some audio and uh, sorry i'm a little bit late to this stream uh foul one and and the rest of you guys in the live chat here um yeah had to get had to get some things done for for a client this morning client slash it's funny i have, I have a client for a job who's also a boss for another job i'm i literally am like working all in the same like field, which is like video and audio editing and YouTube management, things like that. Consulting for new podcasters, like in, in that new media realm. Um, but just for so many different uh, channels, shows, it's crazy. Sports, not sports. You <laughs> see about to be fire. I think it's going to be good. Low key, I think it's going to be good because I think the French fighters, though I don't think a lot, like people in our live chat yesterday on the uh predictions video we're saying that like the, oh, the french were gonna sweep now i don't think the french are gonna sweep i think there's some there's some french fighters who are going to lose and it's not it's not crazy to say that you know what i mean but i do think what i will say about the french fighters even those who i don't think are that good they will elevate their game a little bit to the fact that like there's gonna be a crowd there this is ufc paris this is this is a big event and they're at least gonna bring it they're going to bring the heat, brother. See you later, Hockey from Home. Oh, wow. Long awaited. Long awaited indeed. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. So, yeah, Jules, uh, tonight, uh, Cage Fury FC, which I'm excited for. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right, let's. Uh... Okay, I got, I got a poll question here. I got a poll question. By the way, smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Spivak about to send gone back to reality, dude. I just, I don't know what everyone sees in Spivak. I don't see it, man. I just don't think he's that good. I really don't. I think he's a meh everywhere, except for grappling, where he's good, not great. He does have some knockout power, but he's a heavyweight. He better have some knockout power. You know what I'm saying? All right, future fight just moments away. As I say, they're about to announce them in the center of the ring. Wait, it's not the main event. It's one of the main events. It's one of the main events. All right, I'm just updating the poll question. What are you most excited for on DAZN kickboxing? As North Americans will have Diz, uh, kickboxing on DAZN. I <laughs> kicking boxing. I haven't drank enough coffee yet this morning. There we go. Just on kickboxing. Uh, K1. Rush. Um, What else is going to be on there? We're just announcing, by the way, the, uh, the fighters in the center of the ring. We will get back to the play-by-play -play in a second. Keep the comments coming. We'll get, we'll get back to your comments. 63-9 and nine is Ramazanov and his pro uh, kickboxing record, by the way. All right, they meet center of the ring. I'll get this poll question up in a little bit here. All right, featured fight of the night. The announcer messed up. They said main event. Round one. Let's get, on. Let's get it on. Again, big shout out to everyone in the live chat here. Let's get to some commentary. All right, sounds good, Jelani. Oh, one's a broadcast. A little frozen. This is hilarious. You see, this is like a gift going on here. The one broadcast is frozen. Well, it's not frozen. It's like going back and forth. I can't see anything. Is this just me or do you guys see this too? Did your, did your one broadcast just trip out here? Is it frozen? 
Oh yeah, dude. One's one stream is fucked. They're having some broadcast issues on their end right now. All right, they might be coming back here. Two minutes and seventeen seconds on the clock here. Ramzan with the body kick. Straight left jab by Ramazanov. Push kick again by Ramazanov. Sarah catches the kick. And Sarah's 22 years old, ladies and gentlemen. Ramazanov, a lot more experience. Ramazanov, though, a little sloppy in those strikes, but he's a big, gangly, lanky mouth, isn't he? No, it was every it was the their their entire broadcast there. Oh, and a one-two there by Ramazanov. Catching the kick, trying to throw a right hand with Sarah, doesn't land. Oh, and a nice shot there by Ramazanov. Sarah's on the ground. Sarah's bleeding. Sarah is painting the canvas, and it is all over. It is all over. Is that a stepping elbow? I have to see the replay on that. Yes, step in elbow there by Ramazanov. Just cut Sarah wide open. Sarah knocked to the ground, seeing the Tweety Birds and painting the canvas red, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yo, my man, what is going on? That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Everyone give a sub, like, and join the City Light Project. Appreciate you, Rush Hour Fight Club. Appreciate everyone who was, uh, appreciate those uh, from my channel who go and support you every single time uh, I'm not live or even like simultaneously. It is awesome. Cannot wait to do our collab streams. Cannot, oh yeah, short left elbow there or right elbow. My apologies. Boom. Uh, can't wait to do our collaborations and some of our video plans, man. I know our, our schedules are just so opposite that uh, it's hard to sync up, but uh, we'll get her done soon, my man. Good KO indeed. Uh, yes, everyone. Rush Hour Fight Club. Let's get this guy to 10,000 subs. We got to get him to 10,000 subs. We got to get Rigo to 10,000 subs. We got to get Mr. Grant Gregory to 100,000 subs. We got to get Hockey From Home to 100 subs. And we got to support uh, our own here on the channel. Baby Face Killer. Synapses to fight losing streak, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Not even a scratch. Not even a scratch. I know. I want to see it, too. I want to see it, too. One's just like, oh, we're on YouTube, so let's just like not show it in depth. Let's see if they show the replay. Oh, they got the Rus a Russian and uh, the Thai translator out there. Oh, they don't have my favorite Russian translator. There's this really cute uh, <laughs> translator that they usually have. Yeah, I don't think they're going to show it, foul one. I don't think they're going to show it. Again, shout out to everyone joining us in the live chat early. Jelani, foul one, one of our exclusive members. Jules, Rush Hour Fight Club, Hockey from Home. Appreciate you guys. Okay, Jelani, let me give this another shot here. Uh, oh my god, it has been a while. It has been almost a... It has been one year since we've seen Pauline Mercer in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Pauline Mercer is in the chat, probably going to say that we got to protest for some rather. Let's take a look. What is it? What's up, Pauline? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good summer. Go to Pittsburgh. And hold a protest at WWE Payback. Wait, you're saying people who do belly dancing have to be canceled? I'm very confused, Pauline. And boys, I don't care about the WWE. You can go protest. I ain't protesting. I'm not even in Canada anymore. Pauline, I, 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 I he gets, he gets the fifty thousand bot. Let's go. I'm not surprised that Pauline came in with a banger from Tanger comment like this, but uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Let's go. He almost went for the double leg on. <laughs> he almost went double leg on a buddy who's interviewing him, Mitch. Babe face killer just saying thank you to everybody. Let 
I'm so hippy. He's been in one championship for six years and he's so hippy. All right, we got another Muay Thai belt coming up here next. Like, actually, the rest of the card is all Muay Thai. Only one MMA fight on this card today? Man, the folks in Thailand must must have been pumped. Oh, hockey from home is back, ladies and gentlemen. Bowen, uh, Pauline used to join us on our hockey streams all the time and uh, and go off about like canceling this and protesting against that. Uh, it's Pauline Shtick. Um, more of a activist troll, I guess you could say. I know. Is isn't that like? Isn't that a little? Isn't that, isn't that a little racist? I don't know. I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, can't wait to see one of the teachers themed room animal cross. Okay, don't know what that means. Um, I don't even. What is Animal Crossing? It's a. It's a game. Is it? Wasn't it a game on like GameCube back in the day or something like that? I have no idea what that is. Talking from home. I feel like it's a video game. I feel like it's a video game. I don't know. Anyways, moving up the card here. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us in the live chat. Again, uh, we did our live UFC predictions video yesterday. If you missed it, go check it out. It is posted on the channel. Uh, we run down you know, a handful of fights, three like chunks of three fights, and then I interact with the live chat so you can skip over some of the live chat talk or not. I mean, some of it's good banter, some of it's good banter, but we're going to be doing them live every week moving forward. Big shout out to everyone joining us here today. Shout out to all of you. Smash that like button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. What's up, Brian Platt? It's on YouTube, buddy. It's on YouTube, uh, One Championship's YouTube channel. Every Friday, dude. Every Friday, 8.30 Eastern until the time changes, it's gonna be 7 30 eastern uh every friday they they host these amazing muay thai cards pauline i have no idea what that means though that's what i'm saying i have no idea what that means i don't watch wwe oh it's a video game it is it is that's what i'm saying pauline wants to cancel us and uh you know get getting race involved here Pauline, why do you got to do me like that? Um, I forget, Pauline. What, what were you protesting last year? Was it boycotting the NHL? Was that it? I think we were boy. I think I think Pauline was uh, wanting to boycott the NHL last year. I forget. There, there was something. There was something Pauline was waving waving the flag for. I don't know what flag, but but a flag for. Um, but anyways, <laughs> live chat's getting crazy, and it's uh. It's not even 10 a.m. my time. I guess it is out east. Again, my apologies for being uh, a little bit late to this card, ladies and gentlemen. But big big shout out to Rush Hour uh, Fight Club. He, he's got a ton of streams going on this weekend as well. And whenever I'm not live, and if he's live, go show him some love. Go show him some love. Hell, some of you simultaneously jump back and forth from our stream to his. It's awesome. Uh, can't wait to do some collabs with him. He stopped by the chat as well we will highlight these next two fighters in a moment there's just not a lot of information on them uh again if you guys are new to the channel pretty much our cadence is how we do things here is we we show as much love as we can to the live chat we interact as much uh we interact with you guys like, like crazy by the way um absolutely love it you guys help drive the bus of these shows um we do highlight the fighters and do a good break and do a, a, a breakdown on both of them more so when it's MMA and boxing, there's just more information. Kickboxing and Muay Thai depends what promotion. When we're doing Glory, like even Glory's website does a great job of showing the actual records of the fighters versus one championship that just th just shows just shows their own database. Like if a fighter has fought in one championship, like oh, they fought once in one championship. So I do like the way Glory's website is set up more than one championships in that front. And then, you know, Wikipedia will have the big names on their, you know, up there, but like neither of these fighters are really, no one's written about them in depth. So we, we don't really have a big, uh, a big rundown here when they make their way to the uh, ring. And when we get the tail of the tape and we get their official records, we'll do a little bit more of a deep dive here. And I mean, we will, we can bring up what's up in topology here. I know topology do the best that they can, but we, we need like a Muay Thai and kickboxing database. So if glory can pull at least 
80 to 90 percent accuracy of a record and just you know post on on their website as far as player profiles why can't one championship do the same see training on a fair team so this is all the information we have and i know she's fought more fights right i know she's fought more fights same goes for this cat who's not actually chuck norris but and see like says she hasn't fought at all so um so my apologies for that folks but let's get back to the live chat here again keep the comments coming we can talk a little ufc if you missed my predictions video please go and watch it uh we did give out and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna disclose it here i'm not gonna disclose it here but we did give out the city life projects degenerate parlay of the week uh inspired by our friend vulcan in the chat um it's a doozy it's a doozy um i do not recommend making this bet or making that bet but uh, it's a fun one. And, and look, the degenerate bet of the week, if anyone does dabble in that, if you hit with it, like, let me know if you did. Let me know if you, if you took the risk. Let me know if you rolled the dice. Let me know if you pushed the chips in the center of the table. Because that that would be crazy. And I'd love to keep a record of how many uh, how many hit. Um. Oh, thanks, Hoggy from home. See you later. I have a feeling Hoggy from Home will be back a couple more times. <laughs> I do. I do have a feeling Hoggy from Home will be back a couple more times, but uh, gone, gone again for now. Gone again for now. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, I was still. Uh, look, I was still trying to get a poll question up here. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, fighters are making their. Oh, it looks like. A little bit of a change here. Um, yeah, and, and maybe these women actually aren't fighting next because it looks like uh, New Pramburi is making his walkout right now. Yeah. All right. Well, just the fight on screen. Do, 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 do. I love how if they don't have a profile or if they have no, if uh, typology has no info on them, it's just Chuck Norris. It's it's one of the best features of the site. Yes. <laughs> See you soon, boy. Fallon, what are you up to today, buddy? You working today? Going for your run today? Fuck, I got to, I got to sneak in uh, either a run or, or, some sort of like plyo circuit or, or something today. I don't think I'll have enough time to go to the gym and pump some iron between work and, and cage fury, but uh gotta die, gotta do something. Gotta do something. All right, first fighter making his way into the ring. And again, it looks like we skipped over the women's fight, or it's gonna be or it's out of order here on Tapology. Dun, 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 dun. An 18 year old making his way. Are these the right guys? Anyways, we'll see. <laughs> Mitch always just brings uh, brings the energy on the broadcast. Sometimes, sometimes like you can tell. It's something that I think it's genuine. I think he he loves what he does. Sometimes I just think it's it's a little too much. It's just a little too much. You know what I mean? Especially like in the intros, like. You know, let your let your color commentary bring some of the color as well. Which actually, you know, in credit to him, he's doing he's doing that right now. Okay, I'll update the tick on the bottom of the screen too, because this is the wrong fight coming up. Again, it doesn't look like we have Apidech Fairtex against My Morn Forest. It looks like we got uh new Pranburi. 
against Sorn Sukinwa, but we're listening in right now. Oh, never mind. All right, my apologies, folks. <laughs> I just, I just literally thought this was a woman. All right. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Quite literally assumed someone's gender. Oh, now we got Gerard Mercer. We got we got trolls here. Hair text is a meme. <laughs> Hair text is a gym. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get <laughs> I got confused. I literally thought this was a this was a woman. Okay, you, you can't blame me. All right, you can't blame me. All right, round one in a high kick attempt there by Tong Lampoon. Tong Lampoon in the green shirt's a little bit shorter than Apidet. Apidet in the red corner. Red corner, yellow shorts. Walking in with a knee was Apidet there. They clinch, ref separates. Oh, and a nice left there by Apidet. Apidet's got some swift hands. Not a lot went got through the guard there, but one of those lefts did. Two minutes and 14 seconds. Push kick caught there by Tong Lampoon. An outside leg kick as he let it go. Two minutes on the clock, first round. Oh, and trying to set up that knee again was Apidet. Left hand by Tong Lampoon. Straight left jab by Apidet. Apidet's got some swift hands. Oh, knee to the body by Apidet. Outside low kick by Tong Lampoon. Double outside low kick. Does that look like it hurt? Oh, and a nice shot there by Tong Lampoon. Apidet is on skates. Apidet is on skates. Oh, and a right elbow by Tong Lampoon in the clinch. Apidet's hurt. Oh man, Apidet's walking back for backwards. Tong Lampoon stepping in. Apidet's still in this, guys. And pushing Apidet to the ground is Tong Lampoon. Ref separates their back, separate center of the ring. All right, we got a poll question up, ladies and gentlemen. We got a poll question. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Fighting the clinch right now. 40 seconds on the clock here. I too thought it was a woman. And well, that and they're fighting at 117 pounds, right? Look like Apidet was threatening with the Stockton slap there before coming in with the kick. He really wants to land that knee. Again, Apidet... Wasn't knocked down, but he was rocked and he was on skates. Tong Lampoon definitely winning this first round. 10 seconds on the clock. Jules, are you going to be joining us for some Cage Fury, Cage Fury uh, tonight? Cage Fury FC? Oh, and some nice shots there by Apidet. Some hooks by Apidet and a right hand by... Oh my goodness, a nice uh, right hand there to end the round by Tong Lampoon. All right, let me know your thoughts in the live chat as this first round comes to a close. We have a poll question up, ladies and gentlemen. What are you most excited for on... What are you most excited to watch? What are you most excited for on DAZN Kickboxing, K1, Crush, or RWS? RWS is already available on DAZN, if I'm not mistaken. But they are adding K1 and thus Crush as well. Yeah, I mean, Appy Dead, upon, upon, upon being on skates there, upon getting rocked, came back and looked good. I still think 
Tong Long Poon. What a last name. Miramon Forest. Let's get it on. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. I thought he won that first round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Let's get back to the play by play. If you're new to the channel, we do live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction with really amazing folks in the live chat here. Happy Debt trying to land a high kick with a one two. And oh, Happy Debt lands a left. And that hurts Tong Long Poon. And Tong Long Poon landed a right. Happy Debt, though, moving forward, yelling at him, sticking out his tongue, swinging here. Tong Long Poon is landing some big shots, but Happy Debt's landing more of them. Happy Debt with the left. Happy did. That left hand is landing. Happy did now taunting Tong Long Poon, hitting his jaw there. Two minutes and 13 seconds. Left hand by Happy Dead. Tong Long Poon now moving forward here. Tong Long Poon had the better first round, but Happy Dead's looking way better here. First minute of this second round, and Happy Dead's just beating up Tong Long Poon here. Body shot by Tong Long Poon. Kick, I should say. Happy Dead with a 1 2 to answer. Hell yeah, me too. It's going to be awesome. Right hand by Tong Long Poon. And the early chat might be more buzzing than the late chat because the prelims are on OF. And I know a lot of people uh, don't have accounts. You know me, I'm rooting for the Asian with the harder name to pronounce. Tong Lampoon Mermon Forest. Is this the gym name or do you actually think it's a forest? One minute, 19 seconds on the clock. What's up, Benjamin? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a great Friday, my man. Start to the Friday, anyways. One minute on the clock here, they clinch. And uh, yeah, Benjamin, if you're free tonight, hope to see you for some Cage Fury FC. 55 seconds on the clock. Hope to see you tomorrow as well when we all watch Rose Nama Yunus fall. High kick there. Just straight high kick by Tom Long Poon. Apidet. He's got a good chin despite being rocked in the first round. He's been hit with some decent shots here in the second. Now he's trying to do his best Rod Tang impression. Hitting his jaw there. And big shout to the exclusive members in the live chat this morning. Foul One and Benjamin. Appreciate you. Straight left by Tom Long Poon followed by an outside low kick. Apidet, though, with the pressure here. They're in the clinch. Apidet, he might have landed an elbow on the entry there. 20 seconds on the clock. High kick attempt by Apidet. Right hand by Tong Lung Poon. Counter left by Tong Lung Poon. Short right elbow with Tong Lung Poon, and that is it for the second round. Oh, I, I got I got Apidech winning that uh, second round. I think this is 1-1 going into the third, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Weasel made a good point. Uh, Fjord tends to lean the same direction and may fall to Rose just like Cruz fell to Cheeto. I just don't... I, I think uh, Fjord has, uh, has a way better chin than some of Rose Namajunas' past opponents. Not to say that Zhang Weili doesn't. And, and not to say that when the shin connects with the jaw, you're just not going to go out. I just think that she's a lot tougher, and the best that Rose can throw at her won't necessarily put her out as easy as some of her opponents. I did watch that Weasel breakdown as well. I mean, I could never pick Rose, even if I like, even if I truly thought she'd win that fight. Uh, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Well, can't get over. Abidage Fairtex pick on topology looks female. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, I guess maybe it was just like when he was fighting as a kid. When they sent it into topology. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. I'm the best. God damn it, Rose. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Is it just me or does she look more like Pat Barry every year? Two minutes and 25 seconds as well, which is a whole other layer, layer of weirdness. They clinch here. And that's putting it lightly. <laughs> Again, flaunting that stupid knee. Like, he's not going to land that knee. Is that be dead? Tolan Poon catches the leg. 
Left hand by Tom Long Poon, they enter the clinch. Uh, we lost the audio for one championship's broadcast, by the way. They've been having some issues this morning. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us live on the channel. Smash that like button if you haven't already. See if we can get let's see if we can get at least a 20 likes by the rest of the stream. We got a few more fights on the card here. Five more fights on the card. We'll be here a few more hours. One minute, 38 seconds. Nice right hand in the clinch by Tong Lompoon. Apita not landing nearly as much as he was in the second round. Halfway through this third. I'm giving this third round thus far to Tong Lompoon. We still got a minute and 25 seconds left on the clock. Tong Lompoon seems to be more of the aggressor in this third round. Yeah, maybe Apita's just slowing down a little bit here as he's just he's throwing big shots again, but they're not landing as accurately as they were in that second. Nice short left elbow. Tong Lampoon definitely with the good fight IQ here as he realizes, look, we're gonna be fighting the clinch a lot more in this third round as we're both getting a little tired and he's respectfully throwing those bigger shots in the clinch. And a one-two there by Tong Lampoon, especially those elbows. Especially those elbows. Tong Lampoon is wearing some damage, especially. Uh, around his right eye, which is beginning to swell, though. 45 seconds on the clock. Elbows now by Tong Lampoon. More elbows by Tong Lampoon. Again, Apita just hasn't landed enough to win this round. There's 30 seconds left, and Tong Lampoon is the one landing the shots, even in the clinch. Tong Lampoon's going to win this fight, man. 25 seconds left. Tong Lampoon's going to win this fight. Apita, very good second round, but there's no way that was a 10-8. There's no way that was a 10-8. Tong Lampoon still applying pressure. 15 seconds left in this third and final round. Tong Lampoon not landing in these final exchanges here. There's a nice right hand. Uh, by a pedet. Final five seconds, they clinch. Three, two, one. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Pretty, pretty easy to score this one if you... In my opinion, I got Appy Dutch winning that first round. He, or sorry, uh, Tong Lumpoon winning that first round. He rocked Appy Dutch at one point. Appy Dutch was on skates, ladies and gentlemen. Second round, I goes to Appy Dutch. He really brought the pace. He outstruck Tong Lumpoon and he landed some big shots in the third round. All Tong Lumpoon. Appy Dutch just couldn't land. He was swinging, couldn't land. Tong Lumpoon did a great job of adjusting his game plan to landing short elbows and sh and just more elbows as he recognized that we're going to be fighting more in the pog here, more in the clinch as, you know, we're both getting a little tired. And quite frankly, Apidech didn't look super gassed in that third round. Yeah, he slowed down a bit, but it just wasn't enough because he didn't land on Tong Lampoon. Is Tong Lampoon wearing some damage? Yes, he is. But Apidech got rocked in the first round and got outstruck in the third it should be two rounds to one. Let's listen in for the official decision. Actually, I don't even think we can listen in because I don't think there's sound on the broadcast anymore. But we will watch. All right, we're just still awaiting the official decision. And it was the right decision. Tong Lumpoon wins unanimous decision. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That was the right decision. That was the right decision. Won the first and third round. Good fight. Good fight. Again, last week's one championship Friday fights was so good, ladies and gentlemen. This week's, I, I cannot say it's as good, but uh, I will say it never disappoints in the sense that like there's always good fights every single week. Now, we got five more fights left on the card. Let's see if we can get some finishes going. By the way, big shout out to everyone in the live chat here. We got a decent crowd for me starting late as well. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We will be back later tonight. If you guys dig my vibe, if you want to see more streams here on the channel, uh, we will have Cage Fury FC later tonight. Robbery. <laughs> Yo, Vulcan, good morning or good afternoon to you. Good evening to you. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Volkan, I was just teasing our, uh, I was saying uh, we did a UFC predictions video yesterday, a live UFC predictions video, and uh, I said, stay, uh, watch the video, watch the entire video, or, I mean, you could skip to the end, but watch the entire video as we do give out the City Life Project and Volkan's Degenerate 
picks of the week or degenerate parlay of the week. Well, you give a separate one on stream, but the the the, the, the city life project's weekly degenerate parlay is inspired by Vulcan. I feel some KOs coming in. <laughs> there hasn't been too many here today. I think just one so far and one just fight where the guys rocked each other a few times. Definitely not like last week. Vulcan going down. <laughs> I got Ozdemir winning, Benjamin. I got Ozdemir winning. Now that, that one, I'm not like super confident in that bet, in that pick, just because his opponent is a hard hit in Uzbekistani, who is living in Russia. But uh yeah, anyways, big shout out to those in the live chat right now. You guys are awesome. All right, uh, we'll get the next fight up on screen here. Again, not a lot of info that that I can just easily access for both of these guys, but uh when the tail of the tape Shows up on screen and they give their record. We will highlight that highlight them in more in depth. But keep the chat buzzing, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely love the interaction. I'm just quickly looking online here, see if we can find any more info on these guys at all. Uh Sorn Sweknoy, 28 years old, looks 50, of course. Uh, I don't think he's fought in one championship here before. No, making his one debut. Same as opponent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, making his one debut as well. So both of them making their one debut on the latter half of this one Friday fights 31. Guys, how excited are you for Rod Tang Superlek? How excited are you for Rod Tang Superlek? And let me know your early predictions. Who do you think is going to win that one? I got, y'all know. Y'all know I got Superlek. Y'all know that when Rod Tang came in as, oh, what's up, Stamp? Uh, You know that when Rod Tang came out as the favorite. I said, bet your house on Super Luck. I have. I have. Uh, I'll play a few bucks in your parlay as I know one day we'll hit big with the D-Gen parlay. Just sprinkle on it, though. Exactly. Uh, what's up, JC? Kind of mid-card today, especially there was one robbery. Yeah, it hasn't been the best card today thus far, JC, but we're only one half through the card. We're only one half through the card. We have five minutes, or sorry, five minutes. We have five fights left on the card. So if we get like five KOs in a row after this, we're, we're all going to be like, oh, it's one of the best cards. If I fought, I would fold fake Uz, uh, Uzbek Bogdan. Yes, it did, Brian. They've been having some broadcast issues on their end. Uh, the volume did uh, did bug out on their end again keep the comments coming guys this ch the chat's awesome here today appreciate you guys for starting late as well all right the next fighter is about to make their walk to the ring again once they're in the ring and we see the tail of the tape we will run down their records we'll be able to see their records I, again I, I say this all the time i wish there was all right so udomlek 34 years old Sorn Sweknoy, 28. But again, Sorn Sweknoy looks a lot older than Udomlek. Uh, we will get their official records as soon as they enter the ring. Just like there's a, you know, and, and Tapology and, you know, sure, look, they're amazing for mixed martial arts. And, and Tapology goes above and beyond to actually show boxing and as much more time kickboxing as they can. I just wish there was, oh, looks like we got the sound back. I just wish there was a kickboxing and, and Muay Thai database. If anyone wants to go in on, you know, creating one with me, just saying, contact me. Um, and I got to give credit where credit is due to glory on Glory's website. Whenever you look up a fighter on glory, cause you can search for a fighter on glory and it'll show their profile there. It shows their entire kickboxing Muay Thai record. Now, is it a hundred percent accurate? Probably not, but it's accurate enough. It's accurate enough where we can actually get an idea of who this fighter is and take a look at their resume. It sucks that one championship does not do that. They only show the fights that they fought under the one championship banner, which is unfortunate. They, they should want to show you more of the fighter, more of their resume. Embedding the whole neighborhood on Rod Tang. Oh, no, JC. You're one of those. You're one of those. I got Super Lek cracking that chin, man, with that. Super Lek with the super kick. He's going to crack that chin. Um, I'm also just super salty about Rod Tang these days. I, I honestly think, JC, that, that Rod Tang, that Dylan Dennis has more of a chance of actually showing up to his fight against um, who the heck is he fight? Logan Paul, then uh, then Rod Tang even showing up because Rod Tang's a coward. Uh, I will definitely watch Rod Tang super like hyped more after you pick super like can't wait. 
I'm probably I mean, it, it look realistically it could go either way. I'm just very much a uh, rod tank duck super like once and then fall like a few weeks or like a couple weeks later. So um, he's like he's 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 nearing Rose Namajunas territory. Not quite there. Not quite there. As I still got a lot of respect uh, for th- that. He's still when he at least enters the ring, he fights unlike Rose Namajunas, but. Uh, your take, Angela Lee comeback? I don't think Angela Lee is going to come back. I I do know Christian Lee is going to come back though, and he is uh he is preparing for a comeback. And the uh, they have a younger brother as well, who I think one championship has their eye on too. Diego, what is going on, Diego? Oh, Diego, I had a uh okay, I got to do a couple things on YouTube here. First, Jelani. Okay, I'm going to quickly see if this works. Um, I don't know if this is you, Jelani. So there's one that says Jelani 23 space G A E. L A N I 23. And that is the whole username. So Jelani. Jaelani 23. Is that you? Is that you? If so, I will I will make you I'll make you Zimaud. Uh I'm going for Rod Tank. It's super like had trouble with uh Pan Panpayek and Daniel Puertes, which were pressure fighters. Um yeah, but hasn't super like knocked out guys in the first round that have gone the distance with Rod Tang as well? I mean, it you know what I'm saying? I can't think of the names on the top of my head. You're more the expert, but uh, look, it, it's probably going to go the distance. Oh, by the way, 50 and 13 record for U Domlek. 50 and 13 record for U Domlek. Yeah, now it's back. Now it's back. It's good to see you, Diego. It's good to see you. Again, for you guys who are new to the channel, we do live play, play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with you guys in the live chat. Thorn Sweknoid, they're not even announcing his record. They're not even announcing his record. What the heck won championship? Okay, well, I'm I'm uh I don't even know who I should go for on this one. Yeah, I'm not even gonna make picks on this card. I'm just gonna enjoy him as a fan. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, go. Let's get it on. Jelani, you in the chat still? Jelani, you in the chat still? I will just send this picture to you, Jelani. All right, round one, like I said, folks, two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock here. Outside low kick by Soren Sweknoy. Soren Sweknoy, a little bit shorter than Udomlek. Udomlek, a lot older than him, though. Diego, Diego, are you going to be joining us for a little cage fury tonight? Two minutes and 27 seconds on the clock here, folks. Neither super explosive yet attacking the legs. Udomlik in the blue corner, white trunks. Sorn Suknoi in the orange trunks, red corner. Ooh, and a nice one-two there by Sorn Suknoi. Again, folks, we have a couple more videos dropping on the channel too the rest of the week. Left hand by Udomlek. Left hand by Sorn Sweknoy. Outside low kick by Sorn Sweknoy. Oh, and a counter left by Udomlek, who ducked under one of the big shots by so and so like, no, they clinch. I love this referee, by the way. I don't know if foul one's still here. This is my favorite referee, or one of my favorite referees in, in one championship. One minute and 14 seconds on the clock. One minute. Sorn Sven, Sorn Sven Knoy. Pressuring. Oh, outside leg kick by Sorn Sven Knoy. 
And Udomlik, he dropped him. It's all over. Sword Swagnor dropped Udomlik with a leg kick. It was all over. TKO via leg kick. TKO via leg kick, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. TKO via leg kick. Oh. Damn, dude. He's still in so much pain right there. Told you KO incoming. How can it be a robbery? It was a leg kick. Oh, ouch, dude. Oh, that might have been... It was the side of his knee. Oh, no, never mind. It was high. It was high. I thought it was right inside the knee, but it was a little high. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What a robbery. He stayed down. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Leg kick robbery. Get this man a picture on Tapology. Get this man a picture on Tapology for, for Fook's sakes. By the way, co-main event of the evening tonight on Cage Fury FC, we have our boy Max Canones fighting. Man, I got behind on editing that podcast. With the house sitting and so, and so much other content and that we made and news and work. And so I'm almost done editing it. I got to... Uh, I got to get it up like I got to get it up to the the exclusive members tonight latest. I literally like five more minutes of edits I got to do on it. And then I'll bring it to the public uh, tomorrow after his big win. Is the consecutive 5KO going to happen? <laughs> it wasn't a robbery, JC. Benjamin's just messing with us. Wow, what a, what a tremendous win as he's being interviewed in the center of the ring. Damn, JL. Well, happy early birthday. I just turned 30, my man. Um, all right. Next fight up the card here. Peng Luang... Barn Ramba against Sexen Choi Dyset. So Benjamin's rooting for this guy. Benjamin roots for what? The Asian fighter with the hardest name to pronounce. Uh, JL, one of our exclusive members. What's going on, buddy? You feel JL? Don't, don't, don't say that, dude. Your your brain. You still have five years of brain development, dude. You're still you're still growing. So I just woke up. What happened? Oh, and he just got the bonus. Uh, leg kick KO. Leg kick KO. But uh, yeah, folks. Max Canones fighting uh, Israel Galvan tonight. A common event of the evening. Cage Fury FC. Canones is the favorite coming into that one against a guy who's 5-3. and three, But a guy with two KOs on his uh, record as well. And the guy who was on a four-fight win streak until he lost to a 4-0 uh, guy via unanimous decision uh, d -d -d back in November. So yeah, exciting for our boy Max Jones. We'll send him a text. I'm going to send him a text uh, after this stream and say good luck from everyone on City Life and we'll be watching. This fight first round or second round TKO? But no, but don't know for who. Well, that's Volcan's prediction. That's Volcan's prediction. All right, guys, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna fill up. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some more coffee here. Back on the other side for some more play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Don't forget to join us later this evening for Cage Fury FC as well. We're coming up for the next fight here. Coming up for the next fight here. It should be a banger. Excited for this one. Don't go anywhere. We will be back. Live here on the other side. We'll run down what we can of the fighters. I'll give my, I guess, prediction on this next one. Screw it. I'll give a prediction on this next one. And I'll want to hear yours as well. Again, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. So you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. 
Very excited for Cage Free FC here tonight as our friend of the channel, Max Canones. Co-main event of the evening. He's just moving up the he's just moving up the ranks up against a tough opponent. But we'll get into that later. Back on the other side, I'm gonna refill my coffee. And I suggest y'all do the same. One championship Friday fights 31, ladies and gentlemen, live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Back in two minutes after this quick break. Let's go. live here on the city light project youtube channel for you another live fight companion one friday fights 31 ladies and gentlemen and uh hasn't been as exciting as the last couple weeks let's be perfectly honest but we got it we got a tko in the last fight we got a tko in the last fight uh, Vulcan, bro, is Max Canone going to take his opponent down or fight him on the feet? If going for takedown, not for single double A takedown, but trips, the opponent has good gi team. Does Max know that? Dude, Max is extremely well-rounded. Uh, he's wrestling background, so he's he's 
he's well versed in double legs and single legs, but he is a very good boxer and, and Muay Thai fighter as well. Uh, his last few, I mean, his last few wins have come by KO TKO. His, uh, his, well, I, I, he might have submitted his opponent in his last one, but he beat him up first. And then uh, the guy before that, he beat up, he landed a flying knee. Both reactions to, to, his, uh, to his finishes are on the channel. If you go through videos, you'll see. Uh, he's very well-rounded, um, wrestling base. He's got power, and he's flashing his kick. So he could keep the fight standing if, if, he, if he wanted to. Um, coming in at a huge favorite, too, that's awesome. I mean, the, the kid's so talented, man, and we had a great conversation. Uh, <laughs> Max, if you're watching, or uh, Max's brother, he, he supports the channel as well. If you're watching, sorry the podcast came out late. Sorry to all the channel members and things, too. Again, exclusive members, you'll get it tonight. The rest of you will get it. Uh, after sorry it came out later than expected uh i would say like 98 percent of it is evergreen there was just one little portion where he was like you know talking about the the fight coming up um and being like i'm breaking the news but uh obviously that would have come out four weeks ago then it would have been breaking some news so my apologies that it, it took a little while uh I, I take my time editing the podcast and just chipped away at it every day for a little while then just some things came up work wise and obviously house sitting and um it's uh it's been on my priority list of things but it's like priority number 3 over some other like work stuff. So I'm I'm almost done. It will be it'll be ready for the exclusive members uh probably this afternoon and then the rest of you uh in a couple days. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry folks, one sec. Okay. Uh, da, da, nice. He can be a pros if he goes for it. Say we are with him. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. What's up, phony? Good morning, peeps. How's your Friday going? Remember to share a like and those comments, good and bad. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, it's going good. It's going good. Busy day. I got a. I got a lot of work to do. I did a little. That's, we were a little late to these to the stream as well. But uh, by the way, sixty and five record for Mister Ban Ramba. Um, busy day of work is what I'm trying to say. Uh, before and right after the stream too. I'm gonna get right back to it. I should have a client texting me right now. All right, round one coming up here. Let's see if these final four fights we can get knockouts as well, or at least TKOs. Haven't had a lot of them on the card thus far, so let's see if the last ones can get it. All right, the kickboxing match was a good scrap, though. I will say. All right, round one. Let's get Two minutes and 55 seconds. Oh, and a couple big shots there already by Tuang Lung. A one-two and a high kick. Sexen's taking some big damage here early. Oh, another high kick there by Puang Long. Dude, this is a busy brawl early. My client took the had the worst time to text me right now. First round of this banger. A couple body shots there by Puang Long. Puang Long's doing a better job of mixing it up. Mixing up with the high kicks, body shots, combos as well, where Sexan isn't landing all his shots. I mean, that straight left jab is barely getting through. He is landing a right in the exchange. Left hand by Pong Lung. Sex number the one, two. Right by Pong Lung. In the clinch. Knees to the body. Left jab by Pong Lung is landing every single time. One minute and 24 seconds on the clock. One minute and 17 seconds. Yeah, I smell it. I smell a knockout by Puang Long. Oh, and a nice right hand or right elbow there in the clinch. Sex hands hurt, man. Or at least he got hurt there.
All right, sorry guys. Client texted me. They have a project that needs to be done. 30 seconds on the clock. Gotta love last minute projects on Friday. 22 seconds on the clock. Hey, my Fridays have been... Oh, a nice left hand there by Puang Long. Straight left there. That looked like it hurt sex end. And a right hand there by Puang Long. And a straight left elbow. Step and elbow by Puang Long. Puang Long's landed the better shots. Another left. And every time Puang Long lands a shot, you can see sex end's like head jerk back. Whereas when sex end lands a shot on Puang Long, doesn't look like he's hitting as hard. That is it for the first round. Great first round by Puang Long. Great first round by Pong Long. Well, usually my Fridays are pretty free, which is why I can stream all Friday, but recently it's been getting busy, which is a good problem to have. Uh, what's everyone most looking forward to? Other fighter organization tonight, Max Canones in Cage Fury FC. Oh, yeah. Just looking at some of the replays here. All right. Round two is about to begin here. They're going for it. Go. They seem to have amazing chins. On honestly, I think Sexan has just been... Well, Sex and slips there. I think, yeah, he does have a good chin because Pung Lung is definitely landing the bigger shots. Not to say the Sex and doesn't hit hard, though. Volcan's looking forward to the UFC. What about you, Phony? What are you looking forward to the most? Oh, nice left hand to the body on Pung Lung. I think Pung Lung won that first round, folks. Let me know your thoughts. Two minutes and 35 seconds in the second round. Two minutes and 26 seconds. Right hand there by six. And I don't know if that landed. Step in left elbow by Pung Lung. Knee to the body by Pung Lung. Man, they're landing some... They're actually landing those knees to the body in the clinch there. They don't even need to be separated. They just separate themselves because they know, like, this is a fight. Nice. High kick attempt by... Pong Lang landed right there. Oh, nice knees. He stepped in with the tie clinch and pulled him down. Nice right hand by Pong Lang as well. Pong Lang just seems to be one step ahead of Sex End here. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. It's it's the NFL. It's the MLB. It's the NHL of, of mixed martial arts. Dude, yeah, the the Benoit Saint Denis fight is gonna be a good one. One minute and twenty two seconds on the clock. The Lappy Lou fight, I think, is gonna be good too against Lochran. I think that one's gonna be good. I would like to say that Phony is unblocked, making fun of these comments now. Let's go, let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. We got some harmony back in the live chat. One minute on the clock in the second round. A nice one-two and a kick there. Again, Pung Long has looked just so crisp and clean with his strikes. He hasn't got hit much. He's throwing elbows, knees in the clinch, step in elbows. His jab's good. His hooks are good. His counters are good. His combos are good. And he's throwing combos, mixing it up with the leg kicks to the body and the head. Whereas Sex and let me, I can't say anything bad he's moving forward he's trying to pressure he's throwing kicks he's throwing combos and even when he lands though they're not doing anything to Puang Lang when Puang Lang lands sucks on his head jerks back enough to knock off headphones fifteen seconds on the clock nice knee to the body and a one two again Puang Lang for every shot sex and lands Puang Lang lands so many more oh Sexton, though, attacking the body of Pung, Pung Lung. And that, you know, one blow to the liver, that can take you out. So he's got to be careful of that in the third round. Final 10 seconds, or final second, and there it is. End of the second round. Great fight, great fight. Great, great fight, guys. 
I think Dana wants Gone to beat as well. If not being able to wrap the win against Nganu after two will start, I might play a couple units on Spivak. He can wrestle, grapple, take down its overseas. I don't think Spivak is very good, but again, I'm that's just me. That's just me. Gon's grappling is not great, but if, if we're comparing Spivak to John Jones, I mean, guys, come on. And to think uh, Ciro Gon hasn't, like, oh, Spivak's only path to victory is grappling. And so in camp, didn't, you know, didn't want to, you know, didn't prepare for grappling. I think Ciro Gon can at least, at least get back up to his feet a few times. He, I don't think he'll allow Spivak to get him in that body or to get him in the body lock. Spivak's not going to go for a single and, 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 and double legs, not in open water. Anyways, I could be wrong. Like I said, like Cyril Gon could just be that bad on the ground. And it's not even that I'm, I'm propping up Cyril Gon. I'm propping down Spivak. I just, I just do not think he's that great. Uh, he gives him top three wrestlers in division in France. <laughs> Uh, would it be not like look if Spivak gets that win, like happy for the young guy. He's 28 years old, he's younger than me. We've seen him go up against just better competition. Not again, I'm not propping up Siragon, the Aspinals of the world, and he crumbles. Oh, and a nice shot there by Puang Long. Sexan got hurt. Knee to the body on Sexan. Two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. Left hand by Pong Lung. Sexton attacking the body again, which is smart. Pong Lung with the high with the high right hand. Forcing Pong Lung to drop his hands a little bit. I think Spivak is number three wrestler grappler after Jones, Aspinall, maybe Curtis, maybe number four. I don't know. See, again, I'd like in the heavyweight division, sure, because the heavyweight division is that thin. You know what I mean? That, that I just like sure. I, you could be right. But is that really saying much in the heavyweight division right now? You know what I mean? Like, you went to a decision with Olenek at the time. If he's that good of a grappler against old man Olenek, not prime Olenek. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. And Sexton throwing some big shots here. In the clinch. And so, I mean, think of what does he have? Like eight KOs on his on his record? So like he's a heavyweight. He's got power. I just I don't know. Just never been a fan personally. So and it's not even but it's not even I'm not a fan of him. Like I said, if he wins, I'll be happy for him. He's not he's just not giving me a reason to to love his fights. 50 seconds on the clock and a nice one two by sex and still knees by Pong Long. Left by Pong Long as he steps back, step in left elbow by Pong Lung. 42 seconds left. Tie clinch. Nice knee by Pong Lung. Throwing Sexton off him. Oh, he landed a shot there? Sexton looks dazed, man. I thought he landed a shot there. The referee didn't notice that. Dude, This, I think he landed a shot there. I think that should have been a knockdown. I could be wrong. Sexton looked dazed, man. It didn't look like he was just thrown down there. Thirteen seconds on the clock here, dude. Pung Lung has put on an excellent performance. Pung Lung put on an excellent performance. Sex time with a one-two swing and a miss. High kick to end this one, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Robbery. I don't know. They're both ties. I think Pung Lung will get this one. There's no reason that Sex and should win this fight. He's wearing more damage. He won. He won maybe this, maybe the second round, but like I still no, I, I, he can't. I don't think it's gonna be a robbery. I don't think it's gonna be a robbery. I think unanimous decision for Pong Lung. He put on an excellent performance. Excellent performance. Yeah, and heavyweight also get yeah, like like who who's who's an elite wrestler in heavyweight? You know what I mean, like. If anything, if he's not number one wrestling behind Jones, it's like you ain't that good. <laughs> okay, maybe behind Curtis. Curtis is a good wrestler. Aspinall, Aspinall's just good everywhere. More of a jujitsu guy, but no, I, like, like I don't disagree with what you said there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, we're listening in for the decision, folks. Listening in for the decision.
Unanimous decision. Pong Long wins this one. It is the right decision. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Wow. Give me one sec. I'll get right back to it. They're going to be interviewing uh, Pong Long. They say they say he's a youngster. I wonder how uh, Pong Long. I wonder how old he is. Yeah, Jones, obviously. Well, Blades is a better wrestler than he is a striker. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Robert Deary. There's two knockouts on Friday fights for Pung Lang already. And he said he was trying to put him out. Dude, and recent fights too. Friday fights 20 and Friday fights 26. Two first round knockouts. Dude, this guy's sick. He looks good. He looks good. He's like, I trained so hard and I plan to knock him out. He says, I thought I could knock him down with my elbow, but he's tough as nails. Well, he didn't say tough as nails. I said tough as nails. But... All right. Great, great fight there. We didn't see a knockout, but we almost did. I mean, Pong Long... Peng Luang, he threw everything in, you know, including the kitchen sink at Sexan. And Sexan is just tough as nails, huge, like great chin, and was just unable to be knocked out. And then again, I even said this in the first round. Every time Sexan hit Peng Luang, like, looked like there's some power there, especially the body shots. Every time Peng Luang hit Sexan, his head, like, moved. My man, Mr. Grant Gregory. Guys, subscribe to Mr. Grant Gregory's channel if you haven't already. Let's get this motherfucker to 100,000 subscribers. I just try to pronounce it like Costa does. Mudafuka. What's up, Mr. Grant Gregory? Guys, subscribe to Mr. Grant Gregory. He's so close to 100,000 subscribers. That is an amazing milestone. And if he gets to 100,000 100, subscribers, I told him I'd buy him the YouTube plaque. They have great chins indeed. Jelton Almeida, yeah. No, for sure. I want to see Jelton Almeida though against like an Aspinall. And then and then let's see who and then let's see who the wrestler is, or let's see who the grappler is. I should say grappler versus wrestler. Because if we say pure wrestler, then like blades is better than Aspinall. But if we say grappler, you know, wrestling, jujitsu, and just you know, MMA grappling all together, I'll say Aspinall's up there. As I said, my man. Um, you have some more. Uh, you have some Rod Tank supporters in the chat here, Mr. Grand Gregor. At least we did. It was buzzing earlier. You missed it. We had at one point, no joke. We had almost thirty people in here for a morning stream, which is uh, which is good. Uh, kind of, <laughs> kind of back down to um, to normalcy here. But we had uh, JC. If JC still in the chat here, uh, he's he's betting the house on Rod Tang, dude. Ameda versus Blades would be good. Yep, that's a test. I think like, I want to see Almeida at light heavyweight, not at heavyweight. I mean, I don't mind seeing him at heavyweight thrown around uh, big bellied individuals with no wrestling at all. For sure. It's fun. But like, I, I want, I want to see him like fight the best of the best at light heavyweight. Damn, my contenders was two years ago. Yep. Rod Tang unites us all. Let's go, Super Lack. I don't think it's competition. What you I think, what are you talking about? Really? Dude, light heavyweight is way more deep than heavyweight. I'm sorry. I wholeheartedly disagree, buddy. Heavyweight is such a thin... Let's be honest. Heavyweight division sucks right now. It's so bad. 
I'd say heavyweight division is worse than the middleweight division. Uh, maybe on par. Light heavyweight's way better, is it not? I mean, uh, there's, there's there's so many better matchups for him at light heavyweight. Even even guys like lower in the rankings, like if you know, uh, yeah. I mean, even even like Rakic, you know what I mean? He's like he's he's closer like to the tenth ranked, isn't he, fighter? Yeah, where he's a bit like I I just feel like light heavyweight's way better. Actually, I know light heavyweight's way better. So who in light heavyweight co overpower Almeida? Dude, most of the light heavyweights are dropping just as much weight as he is. I mean, maybe not maybe maybe not just as much. Okay, that that's a stretch. But I mean, Yuri Prohaska, he's a big boy in the off season too. I just it's just the way you word it. You said I don't think it's competition at light heavyweight. You, like competition at heavyweight, I mean at the I, I truly think those true heavyweights, the Aspinalls, and again, I mean there's not even that many good heavyweights. So I'll just say like Aspinall, Pavlovich, I think they school him. I, I really do. Cause I, I and, and it sucks for me because he's kind of right in the middle, but I don't think I think he's a light heavyweight. Um, I, I do, I do think he's a light heavyweight and I think, uh, I think once he gets, and again, it's just, I don't just, I just don't think he has competition. To, uh, to again, go to go back to how you worded that. I just don't think he has competition at heavyweight. Clearly he's ragdolling big bellied, uh, old men. Well, let's see. Let's see. Rod Tang is super, but he is so but he is so pure, he doesn't even need it in his name, unlike that. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, he walks around like 230, 40 and takes the heaviest heavyweights down like it's nothing. He will go Hazma Chemaev, welterweight of them at light heavyweight, which let, let's do it. Let's see it then. You don't see any light heavyweight holding Almeida. Yes, light heavyweight's better division, but Almeida different. It's about size. He has natural strength. Well, let's see it then. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it then, brother. Because there are some big light heavyweights out there. There's some big light heavyweights out there. And again, maybe like a uh, like an Uncle Live. You're saying Uncle like he's a big boy. Um, it sucks because like pry like. Glover five years ago, and again, this just like you know, he was a light heavyweight who probably could have been a heavyweight as well. And I'm not saying that like Almeida doesn't take them down, but I I don't think it's going to be as easy. Like put it this way, the big boys that Almeida is ragdolling have little to no grappling, and I hate to say this, but they're like fucking pitchers in baseball. They ain't the the athlete athletes of the division like like uh, Almeida. So, like, I get what you guys are saying, but, like, I want to see him fight, like, just better talent overall to see if, okay, the strength matches the talent. And in heavyweight, there's only a handful of guys who have the talent that I want to see him go up against. Um, and that that's kind of where I'm at. Tui Vasa smokes him. <laughs> Exactly, Volkan, he tossed Shamil and Porter like nothing. Good, he should. If he didn't, then he should be cut from the UFC, phony. And you know this, brother. Send us location. He already is. He's doing better than Hasman on paper. He finishes everyone in two rounds until now. Yeah, Almeida would beat Ty. Uh, BS Brock was the heavyweight, and someone like uh, Carlin controlled the shit out of him. That's true. That's true. He almost had him. He almost had him. Carwin, not Carlin. That's the thing. I want to see. I want to see him go against ta uh, talent. Because like, <laughs> you ragged. Up, you beat Parker Porter. Good job, man. So did Taffa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, great, be Parker Porter. Like, good fucking job, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, that's, I, I don't mean to disrespect Parker Porter. 
All right, next fight. Sorry, we totally missed this. We're getting uh getting in depth conversation here. Third last fight on the card. But again, I'm I'm on the same page as you guys in that like I want to see him fight better competition. I just think that better competition is not at heavyweight, personally. <laughs> All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right back to it. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Eh, I can't say I agree with that 100%. I've seen guys ragdoll bums and then go and fight better competition and suddenly, despite the size difference, can't ragdoll them as easy as easy. And in, in all in all divisions, you know, you see big guys in welterweight, big guys in um middleweight, big guys even in lightweight for the division. Hey, when I see him fight good competition, then I'll be sold. I I ain't I ain't jumping the gun like you guys right now in the chat. I ain't giving him all that praise yet. He's beaten non-grappler big heavyweights. Big bellied heavyweights. I'm not impressed with that performance. Let's see him ragdoll some actual grapplers. One minute and 46 seconds. I want to see his Gilbert Burns Hamza Chimaev moment. You know what I mean? Nice left hand there, by the way. By Barami. Barami in the blue corner, white trunks, Sipsan in the red corner. But again, that's personal preference. That's personal preference. I would rather see him at light heavyweight. One minute and 17 seconds on the clock. He's padding his record at heavyweight. That's okay. You know, in the UFC, I would do the same thing if I was him. You want to you want to build a legacy. You beat the light heavyweights. One minute on the clock here. Nice left hand again. Barmy's just schooling Simpson right here with his hooks. Outside low kick by Barmy. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Ooh, a step in right elbow by Barmy. That didn't land. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna watch those. I'm gonna put those on in the background uh, as I work after this. Twenty five seconds on the clock. Twenty seconds. They clinch. Ref separates. I like this ref, by the way, folks. I like this ref. I knew he had a fight coming up, dude. That's gonna be a good one. And see. That that's that's a good fight. That's good. I'm glad he's getting at least the top of the heavyweight now, not just uh, those at the bottom. That's a good fight. I'm, I'm stoked for him. Watch them stand. Watch them stand. <laughs> Again, I'm 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 happy with that matchup. I'd still rather I still would rather see him fight light heavyweights personally. If Romero fought at middleweight, y'all can't say that Almeida shouldn't fight at light heavyweight. That you know. Because <laughs> freaking Romero could have fought at heavyweight and he fought at middleweight, okay? <laughs> I am picking Blades to win right off the bat, like early prediction. Because again, I just, I, I, I just, ha I just think he's a light heavyweight in the UFC. But we'll see. I don't know how good of a striker Almeida is yet because he hasn't shown us anything. Um, and Blades, well, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if Almeida has that heavyweight striker strength too. Will he be able to put Blades out like some of the last few heavyweights who've been able to put him out? Let's get it Round two, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Well, there we go. <laughs> Oh, and a knockdown there by Simpsons. He knocks down Barami with the right hand. 
Perry is knocked down. I don't think he's gonna get back up. It is all over. It is all over. What a comeback. What a comeback. What a comeback. What a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. What a comeback. Barami was schooling this cat. Barami was schooling this cat. And he lands a shot that puts him out. And he was out on the ground. Tweety Bird's looking up at the sky. He had no idea where he was. What a knockout. Oh. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at it again here. Left hook by Burami. Right elbow, right elbow, right elbow. Boom. Oh my goodness, falls right on his arm too. Oh, nasty. He is down. He is down the elbow. Look at that celebration. Just launches his whole body in the air. Oh, my goodness. Jules, thank you so, so much for sticking around here as well. Wow. Wow. And he's he is he's being attended to medically right off the bat. Well, what a great second half of this card thus far, ladies and gentlemen. Sips in with a great win. Great win. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Wow. Unbelievable. Come in event of the evening coming up here, folks. But oh my goodness. All right, Benjamin. Who are you picking? Because both of them are Asian and both of them have crazy names. I shouldn't say that because that's disrespectful. I mean, hard names to pronounce. Gonna check the Wayans. How's it going? Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna watch the Wayans later. No, no, it wasn't a spoiler. It wasn't a spoiler at all. And he's being uh, interviewed in the center of the ring, and he said, uh, "You finally, or he's, he was asked or told, you finally got the knockout that you wanted so bad." Bonus for sure. Oh yeah, did the leg kick TKO got a bonus? So he's just so happy because the previous two fights were by decision. He wanted a knockout. Huge knockout. Dude, that right elbow. And it's crazy because, like, he was losing. He was losing that first round. Burmese was schooling him, in my opinion. Like, first round was an easy one to score for Burmese, and he looked good at the start of the second round, too. Great job. Good comeback. I freaked out a little bit. All right, let's see if he gets a bonus. Dude, um, Shotcher's going to need some Saudi investors soon if he's going to keep giving out bonuses like this every week. <laughs> That's where the PFL money's coming from, by the way, Mr. Grant. He got the bonus, baby. He got the bonus. Let's go. But yeah, I got I to gotta start doing some... Or start taking some more notes and reading some more articles so we can make a video about that because... That's where the money's coming from. And you know what? As Nate Diaz would say, I'm not surprised. And apparently, like, the super or the... What's the, the the division that Jake Paul's involved with with the PFL? The superstar division? The I, I, I honestly forget, like, the term that they used. But the, I think the first card in, like, that celebrity division, like, whatever the hell it's called, it's going to be in the Middle East. I'm getting some Saudi prince who's like 14. Is I love Jake Paul. Let's host it here. Rose had to pull out of the car due to a back injury of carrying the entire... Oh my God. Shut the front door. Get the hell out of here. By the way, vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Look, I'm a little biased, okay? I get it. But like... She's done, man. She clearly had not one foot out the door, but her entire fight IQ and just everything, all her tools out the door uh, in the Carla Sparza fight, um, <laughs> looked so bad against Jillian Robertson at Fury and now is moving up a weight class to try to motivate your, herself. If you were a fighter, you shouldn't have to try to motivate yourself. You got to have undoubt 
you you have you, you have to have zero doubt. You have to have pure confidence. You have to want to do it. Dude, like I, I agree. She had all out the door, and she lost. She lost, and she should she should have been uh, she should have been cut. She should have been cut from the UFC. Quite frankly. Oh, the series in the uh, in the cage right now. Oh no, sorry, it's Tyson Harrison. I thought it was Lassiri. He's <laughs> Tyson Harrison. He's a little bit. Uh, he's, he's a lot bigger than Lassiri. Oh come on, Mister Grant. Harrison's beefy when he's not fighting, eh? No, nah, dude, Rose Namunas, she she uh she made so many hardworking Americans and Canadians waste their money. What a champion in the ring right now. Your boy from the land down under. He's good, man. He had a, he had a great win uh in his last fight. So a little bit of buffer time here in the one broadcast. By the way, you missed another Moicano raid last night, Mr. Grant. Except this time he didn't uh he didn't ask for everyone to beat me up. He asked he asked everyone to tell to tell me I was a virgin. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I was I was doing my it was during my predictions video and I wasn't even doing uh I wasn't even looking at the chat I was like going through I looked at we I think we like ran down four or five fights and then I went back to the chat and there's like a hundred comments I'm like oh my god yeah dude, he's been dropping in regularly or sending his chat over he's a beauty we got to get money more kind of twenty thousand subscribers we got to get Rigo to ten Mister Grant to a hundred Moicano to twenty. Hockey from home to a hundred and rush hour to I don't know six thousand. I think rush hour is like right around where we are. All right, September twenty second. I can't wait for that either. So he's going to be on that Superlek and uh, Rod Tank card as well. Anyways, always love to see Chorfa fight, ladies and gentlemen. Sor Somai, not a easy opponent. We will get into them in just a moment. Um, keep the comments coming. Like we said, it's a comment-driven live stream. Absolutely love the interaction. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already. We've got two more fights left on this card. And then I'm going back to work. But I will be back later this evening for a little... Cage Fury FC, our boy Max Canones in the co-main event of the evening. So excited to, well, very excited to see his uh, his rise in Cage Fury FC. Um, it was awesome to talk to him. Sorry that podcast took a while to to get done, but it is being posted in the Discord for community member or for uh, uh, exclusive members uh, tonight, and then we will make it public to uh to everybody in uh in 48 hours after that so if you want to be an exclusive member to get our podcasts and interviews a little bit early that's one of the perks of becoming a member there you go there you go um and again my apologies to max and and his family and, and friends sorry it was late sorry it came out late um i i take a lot more time when i edit interviews and I, I got about halfway one night and then I had a bunch of stuff come up and I was house sitting. I was chipping away at it every night. And then this last week, I've just been so busy with work. I just haven't been able to do it. So my deepest apologies, um, pretty much I'd say 98% of it is evergreen. There's just one little part that I might have to remove. But anyways, vote in the poll question as well, folks. Uh, what are you most excited for on zone kickboxing? K1, Crush, or RWS? You can say all of them in the live chat as well. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Really appreciate your guys' support. Um, if you're new to the channel, we do live, play, play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Here we have two more fights left. Um, we do MMA, Muay Thai, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, like any combat sport. 
uh, we tend to cover on this channel. Usually we have we we can do more of an in-depth rundown as topology, sure dog, or honestly, if we're doing glory kickboxing, their own website has an awesome database of like the fighter's resume and everything like that. Unfortunately, with some of these more regional Muay Thai fighters, we just don't. So we will await their entrance into the ring. We will run down their record. And if you guys want to give us your official prediction, please do so. If you have an official prediction right now for either Chorfa or Mongkol Kau, let me know in the live chat. Uh, I don't hate the greatest Muay Thai fighter of our generation, Superlek, but Rod Tang is going to make him human uh it is beautiful weather out here in new york city what a great day to be alive dude i haven't even stepped outside yet today i gotta do that after this stream somebody's gonna school rod thing let's go baby let's go exactly that all right fighters are making their walk out now let's see if we got a little bit of info on these guys All right, so he beat Sonrak Fairtex in his last fight via knees in the third round. Friday fights 21. He's also fought Friday fights four. And Sukjao Muay Thai. So lost his first fight in one championship, won his second via KO going up against Chorfa. We've seen Chorfa fight a few times in the promotion covering one championship on this channel. He lost his last fight via head kick in the second round. Beat Kabutov via split decision at one Friday fights 10. Before them was on a three fight losing streak. Two of them in the promotion, one outside the promotion. We're at a three fight win streak before entering one championship. Again, without knowing their total record, I can't make my official prediction yet. And usually on the MMA fights, uh, fight cards, like I'll make a, a prediction every time. Every time Shane's in the live chat too, because my buddy Shane. Uh, he's an exclusive member and supporter of the channel. He, uh, him and I just have beer bets on every fight, on every fight card that that he's involved with. So he's not here in the mornings, thank God. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Super Lex on a different level. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Chofar is entering the cage. Love his shorts, by the way. And again, I always say it's Muay Thai shorts. I love how they can be just as just as colorful, just as bright, just as unique, just as just as fitting to the character as out of boxing shorts, but like just way more slick. I know JC Mr. Grant very much on Rod Tang's uh, side. But he's walking out with a bag. But he's walking out with a bag, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what's in the bag. It would be badass with like his gloves and he just does it like ringside. <laughs> the broadcast. I can barely hear myself right now. I wonder if that's because of the music because the crowd doesn't seem to be too loud. Crowd doesn't seem to be too loud. Again, two more fights left on the card, ladies and gentlemen. Main event of the evening coming up after this. There will be more of a breakdown for the main event of the evening as I have both their wiki pages up. But again, if you have any predictions on these guys, early predictions before we see their records come out on screen here, let me know. So far, one and one in one championship for Somai. Torfas fought four times in the promotion. He's only won once. All right, folks, fighters are entering the ring. I'm going to refill my coffee. Back two minutes on the other side. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Let's go.
All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So Char for 101 and 45 record. 101 wins and 45 record. I didn't even have time to grab coffee, but that's okay. 151 and 39 for Monk Kolkayu. I'm going for him. I'm going for the guy Mon Kolkayu with 151 wins. <laughs> That is that is who I'm picking to win this one. Don't have any rhyme or reason. Both of them have over a hundred fights. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Co main event, second last fight on the card. Let's get I love I can't like it's so crazy. These guys have so many fights, man. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Chorfa, let's go, foul one. Locking it in in a one-two by Chorfa. Mongo Kayu with a couple nice uppercuts in the clinch. Big shout out to foul one, Mr. Grant Gregory, Benjamin, exclusive members who've joined us early this morning. Double F jab there by Mongo Kayu. Chorfa, though, lightning speed on those strikes. And Chorfa looks like he's in tremendous shape right now. Oh, and some beautiful counters there by Monko Klayu. And he slips. Chorfa on the back foot. Chorfa back up against the ropes. Oh, and a nice body shot and left by Monko Klayu. Body shot caught by Monko Klayu. Left by Mongo Kayu. Straight right elbow by Mongo Kayu. Chorfa taking some damage early here. One minute and 49 seconds on the clock here in this first round. Nice. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. One minute and 41 seconds in the UFC for, for Paris, guys. Nice right hand by Chorfa. Mongo Kayu seems like he's an absolute menace to deal with in the clinch, ladies and gentlemen. I think you could be I think it could be good as well. I think there's some good fights. Right hand by Mongol Kayu. Left hook by Mongol Kayu. Dude, he just looks dialed right now. Chorfa just hasn't had any room with all the pressure and the pace that Mongol Kayu is putting on him right now to get anything going. Outside low kick on Mongol Kayu. I don't even I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Monk Monk Kol Kayu. 51 seconds left. Good checking of the leg kick by Chorfa. Oh, that short right elbow in the clinch. He just pulls Chorfa in and lands that right elbow. God damn, that's nasty, folks. Uppercuts by Monko Kayu. 35 seconds on the clock. Left jab. Monko Kayu is just piecing Chorfa apart right now. Left hand by Monko Kai. Oh, and a right elbow by Monko Kai. Right uppercut by Monko Kai. Torfa's trying to land anything here, but he's up against the ropes. He might have been playing possum there for a moment. I thought I thought Torfa was a lot more hurt than he was. 18 seconds on the clock here, but Monko Kai is hurting Torfa. Final 10 seconds. And again, Monko Kai pressuring Torfa. Torfa lands an uppercut there. Outside, Loki by Chorfa. And Mongo Kai lands one right hand at the end of the first round. What a banger of a fight. Gonko Kai, he's up. He's up. He won that first round. Chorfa finally got some shots in at the tail end of the round and had some good shots in the first. Oh, oh man, just look at the replay right there. Look at that. Look at that striking. Look at that striking by Mongo Kai. Mon Kol Kao. Unbelievable combos. And that was a counter. Damn, my stream's like 20 seconds behind. I'm watching on YouTube. Let's see. I'll, I'll refresh it. I'll refresh it and see if it's any better. I'll refresh it and see if it's any better. Anyways, they're still in break. Such a nice uppercut. Dude, his striking is awesome, man. I hope he doesn't slow down. All right, round two. Let's get it all. 
Yeah, Mongo Kao. Left hook by Chorfa. Right hand by Chorfa. Left hand by Chorfa. Mongo Kao with the left uppercut. Oh, Chorfa with the right hand. Chorfa with the right hand, and he drops Mongo Kao. And he's going to give him a count. Great job by Chorfa coming out strong. Caught him with the left hook there. Chorfa with a 1-2 again. Torva with the left, and he knocks him out. Mogul Cow is out. Mogul Cow is out. He's out cold. He's out cold. Oh my god. Torva again. He's out cold. He's out cold. What a punch by Torfa. Great job, ref, indeed. Oh my goodness. He is out. He is out. He is in the shadow realm. He has entered the shadow realm. Mo Kokao, after having a tremendous first round where he hurt Chorfa in a few instances, Chorfa comes back, so winging in the second. Pressure, 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 and knocks out his opponent. Take a look at the replay right now. Oh, that was the right hand that knocked him down the first time. Oh, left hook right to the jaw. Left hook right to the jaw. Boom! So clean! So clean! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Boom! Boom! So clean! So clean! Dude, he was out, man! Slept him! Ref's got a better reflexes than most uh, UFC fighters. What a win by Chorfa. Look, guys, JC said it. This back half of this card is delivering. The back half of this card is delivering. Almost all finishes in the one fight that wasn't the finish. But he fucking tried, man. He tried, and it was a banger. What a back half of this card, ladies and gentlemen. First half of the card, kind of a, kind of a snoozer. Kind of a snoozer. Oh my goodness. What a tremendous win by Trofa. Main event of the evening coming up here next, folks. And I actually will fill up my coffee in this one. What a war. Coming back to because he lost that first round. He lost that first round. Oh, no, I, I think there might be a bonus. They're, they're interviewing him. They're interviewing him. Back in the win column, though, he hasn't been super successful in one championship. Only one win, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, only one win in one championship. Now two, baby. Now two. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he's being asked about being caught and rocked in that first round. That was a robbery. He was still bleeding. <laughs> Yeah, so Chofa, he even said, like, I was fighting hurt after taking those shots. Yeah, dude, I thought he was going to be out, too. That His opponent's good. His opponent's, his opponent's counter-striking. Like, he counters the one, two, uppercut, two to the body, left elbow. It's just like, what kind of combos are these? Those are insane. Chofa's got the power, though, ladies and gentlemen. I got the power. Wow. Unbelievable. Saying thank you, Shachi, for giving me the opportunity to be here. He wants that bonus. And he's getting the bonus. He's getting the bonus you ask. You shall receive. You get your bot in your pocket. Uh, da, da, da. one more fight. You're not gonna wait for one more fight. You're gonna miss one more knockout. Good night, mate. I am done. This was my main event. Have a great night, Mr. Grant Gregory. Will I see you for Cage War or Cage Fury FC later or UFC Paris? Vulcan Ozemir looks great. Looks ripped. Nice. I gotta watch the uh. Uh, Chaffa takes off his shirt and he throws it in the audience at a boy. It wasn't the best throw there, but that's okay. Uh, 
Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan is the new tie, no contest. Most likely for one or the other. Kyrgyzstan. I've seen Kabutov fight a couple times. I mean, I'm going for the tie fighter on this one regardless. I love seeing these fighters come back after losing four fights in a row and then getting a bonus because it like man it goes so it goes so far for them. I love seeing the guys on the fight nights get the bonus too cuz they get that USD baby. That USD. All right, main event of the evening coming up here. Shizod Kabutov. He's lost his last two fights in one championship. He lost to Torfa in his last fight. And he lost to Nakrob Fairtex as well. Lost a close one to Torfa. A split decision. Lost unanimously to Nakrob. Uh, before that, at one championship, 157, he beat Dennis Purich via unanimous decision. He does not have a finish in the promotion. Oh, what what rubbish. One championship saying, they, I just heard, oh, he's the most entertaining fighter in one championship history. I look on screen and it's not super like it's Rod Tang. So they're lying to the audience now. Great. Um, great. Uh, his opponent, Kong Thorani. He's on a win streak right now. One Friday fight, 16 and 22. Won a decision against E.T., he dead 99. I mean, this is the best name in one championship. Um, and he beat, he beat Tor Laksong via left hook in the second round at one Friday fights 22. Um, he's been a, a very active member of these Friday fights. He's gone three and one so far. Oh my god. Excuse me. Oh, one more. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going with Kong Thorani because if this goes to the decision, the TIE fighter is going to get it. Uh, Kabutov's good. He ain't great. But he's still pretty young, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going with the TIE fighter. Early, early lock in my prediction. Yes, split decision win, but we all know that means a loss. Uh, Rod Tang is most exciting, but Superlek right there. I also, uh, I also like Lineker in one, but Superlek is most talented and also entertaining. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was being a little cheeky there, but but yes, I agreed. Um, I do like Lineker as well. I mean, there, there's there's a there's a bunch of the MMA fighters that that I like watching too. Um, there's a lot of kickboxers. I I just kind of like. Obviously, they're under the same umbrella, which makes one so awesome as a fight promotion, but. Uh, I, I try to keep them as like separate as possible. Like as far as like in the Muay Thai, I and it's hard because a lot of the Muay Thai fighters and kickboxers go back and forth. So I at least separate the kickboxing and Muay Thai from like the MMA as far as um as far as those who I would say like is the best in one in one championship. Like I would say like super likes the best in the kickboxing and Muay Thai. And then you'd have to give a name on the MMA side as well. But you know what I'm you're picking up what I'm putting down and I'm picking up what you're putting down. I miss when Ung Lung Song was a beast. Yeah, dude. I mean, he's still winning, just beating, you know, lesser opponents. He's so awesome. He's so awesome. Whenever he fights, I swear, man, all of uh, Myanmar joins the live chat and support. It's so awesome. Still fighting, which is cool. I think he's got one or two fights left. And he's look, he's not fighting for, like, the belt or anything anymore. He's he's fighting lesser opponents, but he, he's he's putting on a show for the fans. He's putting on a show for the fans. And that's what you love to see. Again, big shout out to everyone who's been joining us all morning. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss a live stream. So you never miss an upload as well. We will be back tonight for Cage Fury FC. Our friend Max Canones is fighting in the co-main event of the evening. Very excited for that. I'm just liking actually. He just posted him and his wife and his team just made a post on their social. So just liking that. But again, guys, let me know your predictions for UFC Paris on my UFC predictions video. I did a live UFC predictions um, and picks 
video yesterday. If you didn't catch it live, that's okay. It's still, it's, it's on the channel. Go check it out and then comment. Comment which, comment your picks. Comment, let me know what you thought of my picks. Let me know your parlays. Let me know if you're going to sprinkle a little some on our on our degenerate parlay of the <laughs> of the week, which is I think is a fun exercise. I'm not going to give it away on on this stream here. You got to go on that. You got to go on that video to watch it. But every week we're going to give out a city life project degenerate parlay of the week, which we do not recommend you bet on. Again, Kong Thorani, 26 years old, Shirzad Kabutov, 24 years old, guys. Um, it, it's, it's a degenerate parlay. You know, if, if you do sprinkle a little some, some and it hits, be sure to let us know. Cause that would be hilarious. It was inspired by our friend Vulcan. Wow. Sergey is bigger than gone. Gone getting wrestled. Uh, we don't have Lewis or in Ganu power. Again, I'll, I'll be happy for Spivok as he does. I just don't. And again, and this, and this has nothing to do with me propping up gone. I just don't think Spivok's that good. So I have no confidence in saying he's going to beat anybody usually. I don't think I've ever picked for Spivok. I think I've picked against him every single time. And most of the time, I'm right. Again, that's not even trying to pat myself on the back. I just, I just don't think he's good. I just don't think he's good. On paper, he looks good. I just don't think he's that good. Prove me wrong, Spivak. Prove me wrong. All right, main event of the evening is coming up here, guys. Main event of the evening is coming up here. I have Kong Thorani winning this one. Let's see if we got any more. Uh, let's see if this is, like I said, I had I had a page open for them a, a minute ago. I closed it by mistake. All right, here. Kong Thorani Sor Somai. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it doesn't even say his total record. He is on a one, two, two fight win streak. Oh, I wish it showed his just wins in a row. His actual record. There's so many of them here. I'm going to have to count. Goddamn. He's got a lot of freaking fights, ladies and gentlemen. I wish they would just show it on Wikipedia here. I'm, I'm just going to scroll through it so you guys can see. At least they have a wiki page on him. Kong Thorani, here's his fight record. Some of his championships and accomplishments. So again, two wins in a row, one Friday fights. He had a three-fight win streak before losing. 2022 wasn't his best year. Did you get in 2021 and early 2022? Oof, between 2019 and 2020... But I mean, a ton of experience, guys. Look at this. Longest win streak in his career is what? Two, four, six. Huge career. Huge career by the 28 year old so far. Let's check out uh, Kabutov and let's see if he has a page as well. Again, I'll get back to the comments here in a sec, guys. Um, bu, 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 bu. Oh man! So Kabutov used to be a world lethway champion. So he's a tough son of a bitch. So he used to be a world lethway champion. Wow! Wow! He is a very good striker. Again, two close fights in his last losses. His one championship debut was awesome against Dennis Perit. Uh, Purich, let former Lethway champion man, what a beast! Uh, to be clear, I do not like Spivak, he's okay, but not top five. Top five in a crappy heavyweight division. No, he can't even make the top five in a crappy heavyweight division. I just want to see Gon get mad and aggressive, be a little bit of a brawler, especially with someone like Spivak. Exactly, I, I, I'm so happy you mentioned that because that's what it takes. Like, Gone is so talented in, in in the striking department, but he has to get like hit first. He's like smiling there, bouncing around. I'm Bolga, man. Like, I'm just gonna, you know, this, this is a fun sparring match. Eh? And then he gets hit and he's like, oh yeah, this is a fight. And then he can hurt his because he can hurt his opponents. He's an absolute beast of an athlete and and a killer as far as a fighter. But I just don't trust Spivak. 
Gone is the easiest pick of the year. Literally loses championship fights only and will be 2-0 and in Paris, most likely by finish. Sergey Spivak. All right, fighter, second fighter. Kong Torani is making his way to the ring. And uh, it's great to see you, Matt. Great to see you. All right, we ran down the fighters. I gave my prediction. I'm going with the tie fighter here. I want your guys' prediction. Keep the comments coming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to literally refill my coffee for the last time because this is the last fight of the card. And then I'll see you guys after this fight because we will cover this fight, play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, interaction. Later tonight, we will be back for Cage Fury FC. I love Cage Fury. Oh, my God. Awesome fight card. Max Cadonez, co-main event of the evening, rising prospect in that promotion and friend of the channel. Back here, two minutes on the other side. This is the final break of the stream, and then we'll get into this next fight here live. One Friday Fights, 31, City Light Project YouTube channel. Let's go. back for the main event of the evening ladies and gentlemen phony agreed agree with everything you say there buddy main event of the evening thank you all who have joined us star we are a little bit late off the hop but uh, i think we we're able to squeeze in like what six six uh six or seven of the fights on stream so not bad not bad appreciate you guys' patience with me um these friday fights like I'm going to try to do every single one of them weekly, but sometimes work gets in the way. Um, busy day. Like I started off the day, 6 a.m. working, took a quick break to do these streams, going to go back to work. And then at the end of the day, after work, we're going to be jumping on Cage Fury FC. So busy day on my part, but I'm excited to be able to stream twice, host two fight companions for you guys. If you want to see the rest of the weekend schedule, check out our community tab or become a member so you can never miss any updates on Discord. And if you become a member, even just for one month, you will always be part of our Discord. All right, Kabutov. 62 wins, 12 losses. Former Lethway world champion, ladies and gentlemen. And he's, he's up against the Thai fighter, Kong Thorani. He's my pick, ladies and gentlemen. That's who I think is going to win this one. 63 wins, 15 losses for the Thai fighter. Represent Thailand too. So if this goes to decision, you know who's going to win. You know who's going to win. 
Kong Torani. All right, main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Three three-minute rounds, Muay Thai, one championship. And we have my favorite official, Bachelor. Not favorite official, she's my favorite referee in the promotion. All right, round one, final fight on the card. Main event of the evening. One Friday fights 31, round one. Let's get it on. We got Kabutov in the blue corner. Kong Thorani in the red. Kong Thorani, he's a big boy. High kick attempt by Kong Thorani. Good job by Kabutov for ducking. Two minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Body kick by Kong Thorani. Kabutov with a straight left jab. High kick by Kong Thorani, caught by Kabutov. Throws Kong Thorani to the ground. Body kick by Kabutov. Inside low kick. Inside the right lead leg knee of Kong Thorani. High kick attempt by Kong Thorani. Outside low kick by Kabutov. Straight left jab by Kabutov. Didn't land. Good head movement there by Kong Thorani. Head movement. I need that sound, but head movement, head movement. Nice left hand there by Kabutov. Body kick by Kabutov. Inside low kick by Kong Thorani. Woman, 40 seconds on the clock. Trying to counter with the left is Kong Thorani. Kabutov got out of the way upon landing that leg kick. Leg kick again by Kabutov. Both of these guys, very active. High kick attempt there by Kong Thorani. Kong Thorani tried to counter left again. Kabutov read it for the second time. One minute, uh, 17 seconds on the clock. Spinning kick to the body there by Kabutov. And that landed with a little... Oomph. Ooh, nice counter left by Kong Thorani. He's been trying to land that all round. 55 seconds left on the clock. There's that counter left again. Kong Thorani's trying to land on Kabutov. He's landed it once. It's likely that power bomb again. Trying to land that spinning heel kick was Kabutov. Trying to land it high this time. Could not get it out. Could not land, I should say. Inside leg kick as he's walking Kabutov down is Kong Thorani. 30 seconds left. They reposition the center of the ring. Body kick attempt there by Kabutov. Doesn't land as Kong Thorani steps back. Oh, a nice high kick by Kong Thorani. Caught the shoulder of Kabutov, if I'm not mistaken. Only could see it on the right side. It was a left kick there. 10 seconds left on the clock. Another kick by Kong Thorani. Tries to land that counter left. Misses. Swing and a miss. Final seconds of the round. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for the first round. Good first round, man. Technical as hell. Technical as hell. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um, Shoot. Close round, man. Close round. Kong Thorani up. Barely. What do you guys think? Let me know in the live chat. Kong Thorani up by a smidge. Just landed a few harder shots. That's kind of that's kind of where I'm going off. That's kind of uh, where I'm at right now. Let me know your thoughts. All right, round two coming up here, folks. Yeah, I got Kong Thorani just just barely though. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. All right, let's get it on. Close first round. They even say you don't know how the judges are going to get it done or going to score it. Work is more important, bro. But do what you can. We are here for you. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Two minutes and 46 seconds. I'm hope this. I'm hoping this becomes like a, a a part of my work down the road. 
that I can actually say, no, oh, it it's it's work. Right now it's just fun. Two minutes and twenty nine seconds. And I'm a junkie and I can't I can't miss all these combat sports cards. Two minutes and twenty two seconds. Oh, body shot there by Kong Tarani. Outside low kick by Kabutov. Two minutes and ten seconds. Dude, this is such a high level fight. Kabutov, a, a little bit lighter on his feet. Where Kong Tarani is just looking for that, that counter blow. Looking for it again there. One minute and 52 seconds on the clock. Trying to go for that right hand again. It's Kabuto. Beautiful head movement. Dodging that head kick of Kong Tarani. Kong Tarani with the left hand there in the pocket. Kabutov is swinging, right? They reposition the center of the ring. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, appreciate you, phony. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate the kind words, my man. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Seriously, it means a lot. Kong Thurani's patient. He is. He is indeed. He's, he's looking for that big that big counter blow. And it's that left hand, I think, is what is what he's really trying to. His that left hand of the high kick as he goes low there and then and then high. Both on the left side. But again, phony, thanks, buddy. It means a lot. 35 seconds on the clock. Ran into a knee there was Kabutov. 30 seconds on, or 25 seconds on the clock, I should say. Inside leg kick. Oh, and man. Couple of knees there on the entry, and that is it for the second round. Another close. I mean, that one could honestly swing in Kabutov's favor, no? What do you guys think in the live chat? Is it 1 1 or is Kong Thorani up 2 going into the third? I think the second round could, could go for Kabutov. First round, I think Kong Thorani. It's so close, man. First round, I'm more confident going to Kong Thorani than, than the second round just because I, I know he landed the harder shots. Shoot, man. Maybe he landed the harder shots in the second round, too. It's It's tough. Oh, I got it. I just have to set it up. It's in the... Well, it's not in the box anymore. It's in pieces and packaging on my floor over there. All right, third and final round coming up. Yeah, that's such a close fight. Great main event. Let's see if it ends with a KO, but based on how it's gone thus far, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's going to. I think we're going to see another technical fight here, which no complaints, no complaints. Last round of the fight. Last fight of the card. One Friday fights 31. Let's get, Let's get it on. Close fight, too. So this third round, it's... There, there's a lot, too, because it could be a round apiece going into this third. Both of them kicking like crazy here. To the legs, to the bodies, high kick, low kick by Kong Tarani. Kong Tarani just keeps snapping that kick. Left hand by Kabutov, swing and a miss. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Kong Tarani tried to land a left hook there. Kabutov again. Kabutov's had excellent head movement throughout this entire fight. Counter left by Kong Thurani. <laughs> Blame it on Mr. Rx. Marex. 
One minute, 48 seconds. Ooh, nice left hand there by Kong Thrani. One minute, 38 seconds on the clock. They clinch here. Close round again, dude. Oh, nice right hand by Kabutov. Kong Durani with the left. Kong Durani with another big shot there. And Kabutov's wearing some damage here. Kabutov looks like he's cut under or next to his left eye. Kong Durani. He's connecting with the better shots than he has throughout this entire fight. That's the thing. Kabutov, it's not like he's fought a bad fight here. Spinning heel kick again. Falls to the ground back up to his feet, says the ref. But yeah, Kong Durani just... Just a little bit of a step above. Better shots, landing more, getting through, being more patient. And that says something because Kabutov's not easy to hit. He has amazing head movement. Nice left in left elbow in the clinch there by Kong Tarani. They separate. 25 seconds. Final round. They clinch again. Another left elbow by Kong Torani. 10 seconds left. Kong Torani just stalking Kabutov here. Pushing him in the corner. Going in with a knee. Catches him here in the tie clinch. The ref's going to separate them. But there's only a few seconds left. I know. Phony me too. I missed the actual buttons. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen. This one goes the distance. Yeah, I miss actual buttons on phones, too. Good old T9, baby. Good old T9. That is it for the fight. And you can see the left eye of Kabutov is completely swollen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, some beautiful... Those counter lefts that Kong Thurani was able to land did some damage, ladies and gentlemen. I have him personally winning all three rounds. I think the second round maybe could have gone to Kabutov. I got Kong Thurani unanimous decision. At least two out of the three rounds, one and three. You can make an argument that he swept that and got the second as well. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. We await the decision. Then we're going to hang up the gloves because I got to get back to work. All right, we're listening in. Kong Durrani. Yeah, Kong Durrani wins unanimous decision. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. It's the right decision, in my opinion. It's the right decision. Not going to get a bonus from that decision. Not, not, not enough to get a bonus, but a good decision nonetheless. A good tactical game plan against Kabutov. Landed some big shots and tried to land that left to put him out just wasn't able to do so. He's not wearing any damage either, whereas you look at Kabutov and it's like, oh yeah, this guy was in a freaking fight. This guy was in a freaking fight. You know what I'm saying? All right. He's being interviewed in the center of the ring. We're just listening in. I love this translator. He's so awesome. Like I said, we're just listening into the uh, the interview, and I, I can't imagine he's going to get a bonus for that. I mean, like, not a bad performance by any means, but bonus is just that. It's when you go above and beyond in your win. Again, don't forget to uh, like this video on your way out, ladies and gentlemen, if you are leaving us, and don't forget to vote in the poll question as well. And uh, we do have some more videos dropping on the channel between now and tomorrow's stream. What's up, Irish Animal? Good to see you. Uh, later, Jules. Thank you so much for joining. Mercury Retro Electric going... Mercury's in retrograde? Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> 
Guys, here's my UFC predictions video. If you want to check out my picks for UFC Paris, the link is in the chat. And again, we have more videos dropping on the channel every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciate every single one of you. We will be back for Cage Fury FC later tonight. Until then, have a great night. <laughs> Smartphone. Uh, it's mainly for the big brother to keep an eye and an ear on us. That is true. That's true. And or mostly just ads at this point. I think it's less big brother and more companies wanting just to to sell us shit. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe big brother wants to sell us shit. Actually, in, in this economy, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining everyone in the live chat. You all are amazing. Can't wait to see you guys tonight for Cage Fury FC. Appreciate you all, and we will see you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah.